We're here today at the Myra test facility. Um, we're here in the climate control chamber, which is just behind us. We're going to be going in there to test some of the new down jackets and the insulated jackets from our autumn winter 2012 range. It's normally used for testing uh, motor vehicles in extreme low temperatures as well as extremely high temperatures. A lot of other explorers and adventurers have been here testing James Cracknell, Bear Grylls, people like that, testing themselves and their equipment before they push it to the limits in the real environment. We're going to be going in there in a little while. Temperature is going to be about minus 5 degrees and throughout the day it's going to get colder. Minus 10 degrees, minus 20 degrees, hopefully with a bit of wind and a bit of snow thrown in there as well. So I'll give a very brief overview, then we're going to be going into the, um, into the climate chamber. Um, quite a few different groups testing the different level jackets, um, down, down to minus 5 degrees, then up to minus 10 and minus 20 degrees. Uh, the location's actually pretty exciting. It's quite military, there's a lot of security here. Feels a little bit like walking onto the set of a Bond film. OK, so we're in the climate chamber, um, down to minus 5 degrees now. Um, obviously all testing the jackets out, we've been in here a few minutes. Feels like we're, we're sort of lab rats in a big scientific experiment. Uh, we, we actually went, took the wrong turning on the way in and walked into what was like a science lab. And <laughs> thought we would find some like government secrets or something. <laughs> I should have worn gloves really as well. Usually the sort of extremities, your hands and your ears, I feel it the most when they're not covered up. I think I've seen this place on it on Top Gear and things like that in the past and so I kind of had an idea that we would be sort of standing in what's effectively a big walk-in freezer. Antarctic explorers will come and live in one of these for three or four months to get used to the climatic conditions. Okay we're now down to minus 10 so it's pretty freezing at the moment although I'm able to affirm it without gloves for the time being. That's because I've had my hands in these really cosy pockets. I don't know what the lining is but it feels really really comfortable and really cosy um, against my skin. Gorgeous design fits really nicely. It's nice and lightweight as well. It's extremely cold in here. I feel like I'm in bed at home, snuggled up under the covers, cosy and warm. And it's really good looking. <laughs> it's a really yeah. nice looking jacket. Enjoying this hood as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm not feeling the cold on my body where I'm wearing the jacket, but I'm definitely starting to feel it in my legs, where obviously there's, there's no kind of insulation going on, but you know, it just shows that the jacket's doing the job because it's keeping me nice and toasty. I am wearing a uh, North Face uh, downfield jacket. This is ideal for this kind of temperature, which is um, pretty much spot on minus 10. It's light, but it, it still feels warm. My legs and my face, I can feel the cold, but in the main part of my body, I can't feel the cold. No, without the jacket, I would be banging on the window by now. Uh, this jacket is able to withstand up to minus 10 temperatures, so I feel yeah, fine. Uh, extremities are getting a little bit chilly, but inside I feel great. If I took this jacket off now, I think I'd be shivering within a minute. Without this on, I wouldn't survive any long. And they're going to take the temperature down to minus 20 next. There's an ominous doorway just over your shoulder where they're going to throw all kinds of weather conditions at us. down to minus 20 degrees, they've had the, the wind machine on, the, the snow machine on. It really is quite murky in here, the visibility's down. If you were in temperatures and conditions like this without the proper clothing, you'd be in serious trouble within minutes. I've been to the Antarctic and um, this is pretty much the closest I've experienced to that. When I first walked in, the, the wind was blowing, the snow was swirling around, it was very, very cold. It's just like a winter's day out on the mountain. I feel absolutely fine in this, you know, I even feel a little bit hot. That's how good this jacket is. Even though it's so cold, I'm absolutely toasty warm. I really wouldn't want to be in these conditions without this jacket. You're going to need a good jacket this winter, you know, wherever you live. Even if you live on the south coast, it's going to be cold. I'm a pretty miserable person in the cold and I'd like a coat to keep me warm. <laughs>